Hey guys, in today's tutorial, we shall be creating this. We shall start in After Effects. Start by making a new composition. Name the composition, Loading Shimmer Comp. I will use 1920 by 108 pixels, and a duration of about 1800 frames. The next step is to create a background. Use the shortcut Ctrl Y to insert a new solid. Name the solid, Background. And use a black color. Ensure that your timeline is in frames. Go to the left corner of your timeline bar. Hold down control and right click to switch between frames and minutes display style. Once you have the timeline display in frames, turn on the title or action safe. Then right click and insert a new shape layer. Make sure it is on top of the background layer. Then select the ellipse 2 from the top panel. If you can't see the ellipse, just hold down alt and right click to switch between shapes. Let's go ahead and draw our first point. While drawing the ellipse, hold down shift to make it a perfect circle. Make sure it is as close to the middle of the screen as possible. Then turn on the fill property and make it white. And set the stroke to 1 pixel. You can adjust the size and position from here. The next step is to add a repeater. We can turn off the title or action safe as well. Now let's change the repeater settings. Set position to 0. Set the rotation to 360 over 12. And the change the number of copies to 12. We need to make this into a loading animation. Under the transform properties, change the start opacity to 0. Then insert a keyframe on copies, and change the number of copies to 0. Go forward 30 frames, and change the number of copies to 12. At the 30th frame, insert a keyframe on offset. Go forward to the 60th frame and change offset to 12. Go forward to the 90th frame and change offset to 24. Go forward to the 120th frame and change offset to 36. Go forward to the 150th frame and change offset to 48. You should get this effect, but you will notice it looks a bit weird.
go back to offset, and on its left, hold down alt and click the clock. Then, insert this expression. Place the cursor between the two brackets, and drag the effect onto offset. The expression will change to this. Copy this expression and paste it into copies, following the same process as before. Then change offset and the expression to copies. The final part is to animate the ending. Go to the last keyframe and insert a new keyframe for copies. Move to the 180th frame and change copies to zero. Also change the offset to 60. And that should do it. If you need to change the size of the ellipses, simply go to ellipse, and under ellipse path, adjust the size or even the position. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you need to download the project file, I have linked it in the description below. If you love this video, click on the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more.